Uh, there's this nice uh, example, I think, from uh, Netflix, the streaming company, uh, where they collect a lot of data. They, uh, they also categorize viewers based on some aspects. So uh, I guess they have like your age and the, uh, male, female, your postal code, maybe your income. They know things about you. That's their, that's their job. And then based on those categories, they try to predict with machine learning uh, what type of series and movies you like to watch. And this is, this is essentially their business model, part of their business model. Now, uh, not very long ago, I would say about, well, 10 years ago, so I guess in AI very long ago, uh, they said, um, they asked the following question, how do we know that the categories that we designed with our uh, limited capacity as humans, how do we know those are the best predictors for your uh, viewing preferences? So, of course, we or, uh, categorize people according to those labels, but those might not be the best labels. So let's reverse uh, engineer this machine learning algorithm. And now that we have all this data, let's decide what categories are the best predictors for your viewership. Is my mic still on? Yeah. And they did that. And so they came up with uh, 50 dimensions or 50 labels that you could, uh, could attach to a viewer, all generated by the computer, by AI. 20 of them made a lot of sense. So you would see uh, men here, female here, you would see an age distribution, and there was very clear preferences in viewership. Of course, not completely uniform, but you could identify the categories and you could attach a label to them. Now for 30 of those 50 categories, you would see uh, uh, people on the left side, people on the right side, and on the left side, they had a strong preference for the movie American Beauty. And on the left side, they had a strong preference for X on the Beach. And nobody had any clue what discerned the group on the left from the group on the right. So that means that there was essentially a quality in, in those groups of people that we don't have a word for. We don't know how to, to understand that, um, which for Netflix was great because it means they had now 30 more predictors they could use to go do good predictions. But on the other hand, it's a huge problem. Because now if you want to change something in those labels or you want to change something in the way that you use the model, you no longer understand what you're dealing with. And this is essentially the, the topic of, of, of what I uh, uh, am talking about uh, today. How do you manage? How do you manage innovation and, and, and also through regulation? How do you manage something you can't uh, comprehend? Because essentially that's what uh, AI is.